Welcome back to The Morning Show. Today we have Pet on the set, and with us we have Lisa Lambert with our lovely friend Stretch. Tell us about Stretch. Stretch is a eight, nine-year-old pug dachshund beagle mix, we believe. Um, he was picked up as a stray by our local animal control and never claimed, and we went ahead and pulled him from the shelter. Um, he had to have a dental done, lost some teeth, and now he's looking for a home to call his own. I will tell you right now, uh, when we were getting ready to uh, have Stretch go on air, he hopped right up in the seat and thought it was just him talking. Uh, clearly it's not, obviously, but he is very interested in the camera. Uh, everybody in the newsroom loved him. And you can kind of see all the features, too, with oh, him. Yeah. You can see the beagle. You can see the dachshund with how long he is. And you can see the eyes there, the pug. And we were all trying to think in the newsroom, well, what, what's that going to look like? Well, there's your answer. He's very sweet and he's been friendly everybody again in the newsroom loves him oh yeah he's a good little lap dog um great he would be a great addition to any home he is kind of a runner so he would definitely need a fence mm -hmm. um he's not one who would come back if called sometimes He's learning his name, but obviously anybody could change the name whenever they yeah. adopted him. But yes. And he's only about 15 pounds, so he's not super big dog or anything for anybody. And we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. I know a lot of people think it's a great idea to get a pet, which it can be a great idea for a Christmas mm -hmm. present. But tell us about how there's kind of a backside to that, too. It's kind of a, a double-edged sword, if you will. Yeah, so when you're looking for a pet and you want to get a gift for somebody, always ask that person, bring that person in to look for the animal. Some people aren't ready. Some people are getting the wrong animal for that person. Um, you just want it to make sure that it's gonna be a good fit so it's a good home for the animal and for the person who is wanting a pet. Sometimes um, a lot of pets are returned after Christmas because they're not wanted or the newness wears off. So you need to make it a good commitment. And last time you guys were here, you had Goose. Yeah. Goose has been adopted since Goose last time we saw you guys. Goose has been adopted. He actually was adopted the week the week after, and he's doing great in his home. Hey, so. we are hoping the same thing for a stretch. As we get into the middle of winter season, I know winter has been kind of mild so far. Mm -hmm. What are some of the items you guys are looking for as we get deeper and deeper into the new year? Um, it's always good to have food available. We do Purina One dog and cat food, fancy feast kitten food. Food. We love um, the food donations. Monetary donations help pay for vet bills because we've got a lot of vet bills and a lot of surgeries coming up for some animals and it always helps. And what can people at home besides uh, giving some donations, what else can they do? Can they volunteer as well? Yeah, we're always looking for volunteers. <laughs> um, volunteers, we have cat, we had four different shifts a day and it's really nice when we have people to come in and help take care of the animals and we have shifts, we have trainers and Teach them all kinds of fun stuff. One last quick question for you. Any big events before we wrap up 2023 with you guys? Not right now. We don't have any events planned, um, but hopefully in the spring we'll have some good stuff going. All right, well, thank you guys for coming out. I know it's really cold out there this morning, but you guys are troopers. Stretch is a trooper, and we'll have more information about Stretch and the Humane Society of De uh, Decatur and Macon County on our website, WCIA.com.